We have a seat waiting for you in the Delmarva Life audience. Come be part of the fun. To book your seat, just visit delmarvalife.com. Click on the show tab, or you can call us 443-880-9116. But when it comes to landing a decent job these days, it seems like a college education is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. And once your child goes through the process of getting into college, you may think four years from now, they'll be on their way to success. Well, it doesn't always work out that way. A study from the U.S. Department of Education found that of students who earned college or entered college a while back, only 53% attained a bachelor's degree after six years. The College Board reports students who took those extra years to graduate typically paid up to $19,000 for each additional year. If they were in a private school, that extra cost could jump to nearly $26,000 for each additional year. Wow, that's a lot of money. So you may be asking yourself what you can do now to connect your high school student to college success. Advanced placement exams may be your best bet. In fact, millions of high school students are getting ready to take their AP exams, and they allow students to take college-level courses and exams while earning college credit while still in high school. Batula Cresimales is executive director of the Advanced Placement Program for the College Board and joins us this afternoon. Thank you, Patula, for joining us. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Tell us, what are the benefits of AP courses in high school? Yeah, AP courses are college level courses that students take while they're in high school. And if they do well on the AP exam, they can earn college credit, advanced placement, or both at thousands of colleges across the country. So that means they can save on college tuition. Uh, it also means that they have more flexibility once they get to college. So they have more time to do a double major, they have more time to do study abroad, and to pursue classes that they're really interested in. Oh. They can do, earn their degree in less time then, basically? Yeah. Yeah, students that, uh, that uh, do well in AP are more likely to graduate from college and they're more likely to graduate from college on time than their peers. All right. Um, I'm putting my second child through college and it's not cheap. Um, can these AP exams actually save families money? Yeah, students that do well in AP exams can earn college credit and advanced placement and that means they can save money on college tuition. They can save thousands of dollars on college tuition. Right. Now, it's a I'm, great value for, for students. I know that um, it costs money to take these exams. Uh, the parents do have to uh, pay that money. Um, what about the students who can't afford it? Uh, students who qualify for the Federal Free and Reduced Lunch Program also qualify for a lot of fee reduction programs. So the College Board has a fee reduction program and the federal and state governments do also. So low income students typically pay $10 or less for their AP exam and in many places they're able to take their AP exams for free. So part of the mission of the College Board is for all students that are motivated and prepared to have access and, and, and they can through all these different programs. So students can ask their counselors at school to see if they qualify. Now, a lot of students around here uh, take AP courses. In fact, you have some local statistics on their success. Yeah, um, the state of Maryland is really leading the nation for the seventh year in a row. It's the number one state uh, with almost a third of all high school graduates having been successful in at least one AP exam. That means they've already got some college credit before they even leave high school and they're able to go into college with more confidence and feeling more prepared. Now, Patula, what is a successful college exam score? So the AP scores, uh, AP exams are scored on a range of one to five. Five is the highest you can get, one is the lowest you can get, and most colleges and universities across the country give credit for a score of three or above, so three, four, or five. And the policies vary by college, and they usually have them really easily um, available on their websites, AP credit policy, um, so, so students and parents can check to see the colleges that they're interested in and what their credit policies are. Now, is AP participation a uh, factor in college admission? College admissions officers get hundreds and thousands of applications um, every year. So they're looking to see if students, while they were in high school, really challenged themselves, if they took the hardest courses available to them. And AP courses are typically the most rigorous courses available at the high school. And so when you have AP on your transcript, you're signaling to the admissions officers that you're really serious about being ready for college, that you're taking really hard courses right now, and that you're earning as much credit as you can so that you can be successful once you get to college. Now there are some Several, uh, several courses. It's not just math and science, right? 
No, there are 34 different AP courses, and there are math and science courses. Um, uh, so in science, for example, there's the things that you might expect, biology and chemistry, but there's also AP environmental science, there's physics, a lot of students are interested in those. In math, we have calculus, but we also have statistics, and a lot of students are interested in that. We have AP Psychology and Human Geography. We have World Languages. Mm. And we also have um, things for students that are more interested in the arts. We have a music theory course, and we have several studio arts courses. Uh -huh. So there's something uh, in it for everyone. Yeah. All right, Patula, thank you so much. That is great information. And for more information on what Patula discussed today, including practice questions for the AP exam, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the Show tab. Still to come on Delmarva Life, we're in the kitchen with Galaxy 66. We're putting together an easy to do appetizer shrimp with jasmine rice, yum. Plus we learn more about Ocean City Restaurant Week, how you can get a great meal and a great deal. But first, we'd like to congratulate Katherine Allen of Mardella Springs, our winner yesterday, who took home $250. Earlier in the show, we asked you what senior helpers owner Christopher Stetzer called the generation when you are the caregiver for both your children and your parents? The answer, the sandwich generation. Congratulations to today's $250 winner. Don't miss out on your shot to win tomorrow.